okay <laughs> so this is a simple kind of if someone ask you like you know what is it take so the simple definition simplest definition is that it is a company located in us florida and it is uh, like popular for the virtualization and it has two most popular product which is known as janap and gen desktop so earlier those product our name as janap and gen desktop now they guys rename janap to virtual apps okay and gen desktop to the virtual desktop so if someone ask you what is virtual desktop so it is gen desktop only means uh, for the persons like older persons like me who are working in that technology since you know long time so for us uh, the name is still we are you know we used to uh, that name only like gen app and gen desktop but for the newcomers like you guys uh, it's virtual apps and virtual desktop okay and that particular name change has been done after release of after release of a 7.xx some version like that okay after that they guys rename their product from gen app to virtual apps and gen desktop to the virtual desktop okay so this is a kind of basic definition so coming to the session prerequisites i already updated you in this session what we will do we will install a delivery controller okay and before that let me show you on my infra first so let me try to get a remote of my system so this is my server and on this server this is not this server let's wait okay so this is my uh, server in this server just forget about this ddc this is not for you right now i'm shutting down this machine okay so basically uh, in any organization we will be requiring always one domain controller so basically domain controller uh, is for authentication purpose like you know uh, for user account uh, password and those kind of stuff right so let me log into domain controller and let me show you what i did here so basically into the domain controller now i have uh, created few users like so let me create one user with your name here so that you will be able to understand like you know like you know uh, you can consider like you know uh, you have got one new joiner in your organization and you have to uh, <laughs> provide user credentials to your end user so what you will do you will log into your domain controller right and actually that will be not your task uh, like that particular activity has been managed by the server administrator only not for you right so if someone logs you know means if someone log into the domain controller na, first uh, he must have to open the uh, like server manager and after server manager go to the tools and go to the active directory users and computers and here into the user uh, folder now you have to create one user for that particular new joiner right so i'm just creating one user with your name uh, what is your name it's navin uh buddy what is your last name uh, p u r r e p u r r e okay so let me provide some username to you navin that will be your username and let me enter some password for that user okay i will let you know the password what i am entering here but this is totally for the demonstration so i am entering my credentials only so now what i did i have created one user and user name is navin okay so right now user account is disabled so let me enable the user account first so now i am good to create one as per uh, that slide now where it gone bit okay as per uh, the presentation uh, right now we have to create one delivery controller so delivery controller is nothing it is a windows server machine and in that windows server machine we have to install the core component of citrix like this is a second machine uh, which is known as ddc and we have to install all the citrix core components here only right so let me try to create one virtual machine for you as soon as possible so here i uh, like uh, what i have to install uh, i have to create one more virtual machine here right so for the same click on the files new virtual machine 
Next, then yes. next. Then Windows Server 2019. We are going to uh, install one machine with Windows Server 2019 edition. Click on next. And just name it delivery controller like DDC in short form. iPhone 0 one. This will be your first delivery controller. Okay. Click on next. So I will be doing all this in my system, right? After you tell me uh, after yes, this yes. mission, right? Yeah, yeah, it will be not required actually. If you want to perform, you can perform, but I'm creating the lab for you, okay? So as you told me, like you have to present something, right? So you can do that. I need to do from scratch uh, in my system. I need ah, to record yes, everything. Yes, yes, I need yes. to change everything. So uh, if you uh, if a recording will be there now, like I'm recording that session, you can share that recording as well if you want. But if you want to record with your own, you can do that. Okay. Okay. So the mini means uh, you have to follow my videos and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, followed by my my videos, you can create the similar infra. Okay. Sorry, I want you to help me when I was doing it. So uh, no, no, to... I will be there, but not for tomorrow. Means tomorrow means I will be rarely available. Like, but day after tomorrow, no, no, I will. Today be you. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow you. I mean, just after night, I was just like this, or you know, late night. Even I don't have any problem. Yeah, so late, Today night, and tomorrow. late night I will be there. Nobody. So right now okay. I'm creating the step uh, for you to explain you like what we are doing, right? So first I need to uh, give you some demonstration. Then only I will let you know when you will be good to create the lab. Okay. Okay. So the uh, the hard drive size or the disk size, what we are giving here, 60 GB, that will be sufficient for our practicals. Okay. Click on next. Customize hardware. Let me change the network. And I have to mount the ISO file here. The ISO file, this ISO file is from Windows Server uh, operating system, right? You can download that ISO file uh, from Microsoft official website. If you do not have the link, I will share you the link, right? To download the ISO file. So I already have that ISO file downloaded. Let me open it and let me click on close and just finish this. So now our one machine is created, which is DDC 01, right? So let me take this up. And now we are good to power on this machine. And let's begin the installation. So next, this is a basic installation of Windows machine, how we can install the Windows machines, okay? So, I'm just doing it right now. It will take some time, maybe up to 10 to 15 minutes. So nobody's. We can wait for that. So right now I'm just installing one Windows machine, like you know, as the Windows you are having in your laptop, Windows 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever the addition you have, doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just installing a one operating system here, right? So these are the selections like language, currency, format. So for US uh, looks good for me. Click on next. But if you want to change it to UK, you can do that. Okay. No worries. Click on next. Click on install now. So this is just a basic installation means uh, every uh, like, you know, basic engineer or IT engineer, uh, like uh, we guys are doing it from since last 10 or 15 years, it's a similar process, right? So from here, we have to select the some uh, desktop experience uh, version. Why? Because if I select uh, those core versions now, I will get command line only. And in command line, I will not be able to, uh, you know, found any uh, like, you know, graphical user interface, right? So I have to perform all the operations with the commands only, right? So that I do not want to do, right? So I am uh, selecting desktop experience operating system, okay? Click on next. Accept the license. If you want to read the license, you can read, but I'm not I'm going to waste my time reading the license, okay? Click on next. Custom and click on next. It will start the installation of your operating system and it will copy the files from the installation source and it will create one virtual machine for you within, I think within 10 to 15 minutes. So let's wait for this action to complete, okay? Any doubt so far what I did? I just, I just created one delivery controller for you, okay? 
I just created one virtual machine and in that virtual machine, I have installed operating system, which is known as the uh, Windows Server 2019, okay? So, okay, in between, it may take some time. So, in between, Naveen, uh, how many years yes. of experience uh, do you have in uh, IT sector? No, 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 I don't have proper experience. I was working uh, for just below one year in Hyderabad as a front-end developer mm -hmm. and JavaScript. That's it. I don't have any much experience. Okay, after that, you went there for your uh, master's, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So no worries, you know, you know, you connected with me in the hurry, right? So uh, means yes. that will be helpful for your project. But after that also, if you want to expand yourself or if you want to groom yourself in the Citrix, right? So I will be there, you know, to groom you at uh, L1, L2 and L3 level in Citrix, okay? So yeah, okay. you will be connected. Yeah, even if you. I get anyone, anyone asking me on uh, kind of Citrix projects, I'll uh, let you know, I can share my, the contact with you. Yeah, you can share my contact number to them, okay? I have no issue in that. Okay. So, you have to present, okay, okay, you told me, like, you know, you have got some extension. So, today is 11th March, right? So, like, you know. Yeah. Today is the 11th March. And just let me know. Do you have next entire next week till Friday? No, I'm busy as of now. I'm busy on Tuesday, Wednesday, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I think I might, uh, if you, yeah, for these installations, I can be free for on Monday. I don't know actually. I, you know, I need to work part times. I need to for, I don't know when I will be busy or when I will be at home. So you, you, you are working there on early basis, like, uh, yeah, hourly basis. Yeah, that is the culture in UK and Canada, right? You have to, you will be paid on hourly basis, right? So, what is the rate there? Like twenty dollars per hour or fifty dollars per hour? No, no, no. 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 Uh, it depends upon the place where you work. You know, if it is a hotel, each mm -hmm. and every hotel has their own pay. Someone pays uh, ten pound, mm -hmm. and uh, I work in uh, Oxford and Cambridge uh, club. Mm -hmm. So, uh, they pay me fourteen pound which is very high than normal. Yeah, US dollar, right, right. So like pound is somewhere around... Uh, 100, pound, 100 rupees. 100 rupees, 100 rupees, 100 rupees, 100 rupees Indian, Indian currency, right? Yeah. It's a great British pound, right? Yeah, great British pound, yeah. Yes. But we need to pay tax as well. We need to pay go to the tax. Uh, we need to pay tax to the government. On early Even basis. For... On early basis, yeah, it's like... like Yes. So how they calculated your tax means if you're working two hours a day or three hours a day, right? So how the guys are calculating your tax means, okay, even $10 you are getting into your bank, bank account, is it? No, uh, when you work a 10, you one hour, they'll pay $10. So if you work right. 10 hours and 10 hours and 20, 20 hours per week, it's going to be like 200 mm -hmm. per week. We'll make 200 per week. So these are, I mean, out of that, you need to pay national insurance tax. No, no, that is completely fine. But what I'm asking is that, like, you know, just suppose you work eight hours in a day, right? And you have got $80 yeah. or sorry, 80 pounds, right? So you got 80 pounds, right? So you will get 80 pounds on daily basis or you are getting payment on a weekly or monthly basis. What kind of means transactions they are for? I... I'm going with the agency, so they'll pay me uh, my weekly. If you go with the company, they will pay you monthly. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. got your point, yeah. So whatever they are paying you, you uh, like you know weekly or monthly, the guys are uh, paying. Yeah, mine you, is a weekly yeah. pay, but if you go with the companies like McDonald's, KFC, they'll mm -hmm. give you monthly pay. Right, right. And where uh, where do you stay in UK right now? I'm in London, uh, near Hounslow, uh -huh. near Heathrow Airport. And how far is Manchester from your location? Manchester is like four hours journey from London. It is very far, uh -huh. like other state. 
means uh, we are uh, like uh, via flight or via local uh, like train or metro whatever no yeah, for train for train it will be for, from uh, when we take bus it will be 4 hours when we oh. take train it will be 2 to 4 hours to 3 hours and flight will be like less than hour or 1 hour that's it okay so now as you can see our uh, windows has installation has been done for delivery controller so now it is asking to enter or to create some password right for administrator user so in windows the default uh, user will be administrator only right so let me enter some password for this admin user so what i will try to do like right now it's 8:41 pm here in india right so i will try to you know extend the class up to uh, 12 am or 1 am in the uh, late night okay as per indian standard time so i will try to cover as much as possible for you and after that i will let you know how you will create with your own and you can text me any time you can if you you know no, got it like somewhere no, actually i will be sharing my screen so you just let me know how can i do everything step by step from end point because i need to i need to take screenshots login page everything i need to explain in the document you know when error occurs there is an error so how i am uh, right right so uh, right now i am just explaining few things to you after that like from monday onwards now i will uh, see your screen and i will guide you right okay okay you will be guiding me on monday next week not next week it's sunday only na like tomorrow is sunday uh, tomorrow <laughs> yeah tomorrow night i will be available late night but in the monday i will be completely available for you why because uh, in night i have no issues right so what we will do uh, on sunday we will uh, i will uh, uh, shadow your session and i will guide you okay Okay, how long will it take to complete uh, according to my paper? I have you gone through my paper actually? Yes, yes, to... I have seen that, and in your papers, now the similar things are mentioned. What I'm trying, what I'm covering here right now. Okay, so do not worry about your papers. Okay, you will get well defined report. Okay, after that. Okay. So now what we have to do, we have to join this machine into our domain. So let's change the host name to DDC hyphen zero one. and one more thing that i need from you like if you have any template uh, like you know if you have any template for the reports like whatever you need to submit over there now just share that template to me right so i will guide you or i will uh, make some corrections or i will fill that template means you might be having some excel or some word right which you need to submit right or you have to submit the hard copies what you have to do no i need to submit the uh, i need to actually with my supervisor explaining him the practical setup how did i set up everything you know how is how my system is working successfully then mm -hmm. after after that i need to work on documentation you know explaining step by step login process how i created the servers how are they working what is the communication between the cloud and citrix mm -hmm. everything okay i will so it I is will... Like 12000 words report total report consist of 12000 to you know 15000 12000 to 15000 so uh, i got a team actually they are working for me for mm -hmm. this thing you know if you are helping for me practically mm -hmm. after this practical setup they will uh, look your practical installations everything process recorded and they will work on the documentation no worries i will help you in that as well okay it will be done i will try to get this uh, you know Shorted out for you by next, uh, like uh, uh, before Wednesday or Thursday, we will complete the entire stuff with your reporting part. Okay. So from last two years, you are in UK only, or you came here earlier? No, no, no. I am here only. It is not two years. It is like eighteen months almost. Yeah, eighteen months, near to two years. Okay, and what about your holidays? Means uh, you are not interested to come back to India, or you want to settle there? What is your plan actually? I don't. <laughs> I didn't plan anything. You know, mm -hmm. I need to get a job here. I will be, you know, I will be looking for job in another three months. After I complete my degree in three two months, three months. Mm -hmm. This is my final project. If I complete this project, it tricks. I'm mm -hmm. done with it. So I can graduate in uh, June or uh, July. so mm -hmm. i can apply for that full time jobs it jobs 
If and... I get a job, they will give me sponsorship sometimes. Mm-hmm. Or else I need to go with the extension of two years, post work visa, which will mm-hmm. be two years. Mm-hmm. Then I can again look for a job without any sponsorship. Okay. And what is your opinion for the UK guys? Like uh, their accent, what whatever the accent they are using to speak in English, na? It's quite. Uh, uh, I hope uh, you can understand what I'm trying to say. I have some colleagues, right? Yeah. So yeah, actually, what, it is very what they are, the yeah. It is it is very difficult to you know catch their words, what they are saying, right? Yeah. American English is better. Yeah, American English is very, very good, right? But UK guys, what they are speaking, they are speaking in, in, in means inside their mouth or throat only, right? You <laughs> will be unable to. It is very hard. You know, I was, I was yeah. also suffered a lot in the beginning to communicate with them. I, should, yeah. I was working in hotels and something as a, you know, restaurant waiter or something. When mm-hmm. they order something, I used to be like, go dumb. I don't understand what this <laughs> is. You need to ask my manager again. Yeah, so, you know, it's not about the English. Although, you know, we are very good into the English, but it is very difficult to, you know, catch their accent or the, their words, what they are saying, right? Means, yeah, yeah, it's totally like, you know, like, you know, as, you know, for me, like, you know, Hindi is my mother tongue, right? So I can speak Hindi in, like, you know, multiple ways, right? So... Yeah, this is yeah, the same yeah. thing what the guys are following means. I'm not sure. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. even if you are from Hyderabad or whatever the language you are following, like Hyderabadi language or the Tamil or whatever it is, right? So you can speak your own language in multiple ways, right? So that's what they are following means. Yeah. We cannot blame them actually, right? <laughs> yeah. But yes, US English is very, very good. Yeah, we went the movie. It depends upon the movies we watch. We watch a lot of Hollywood movies, which are in American accent, so mm-hmm. we got to know easily. But uh, British action movies are very less, actually. Yeah, it's very very less. I think I- I'm not sure which last movie I have seen in British accent, right? In British English. Okay, no worries. So what we did so far. We have joined this machine into our domain. As you can see, if I click on the local server, you will find the host name of this machine is DDC. And that is into my domain now, which is techamtech.com, right? So now what we have to do, we have to install all these Citrix core components in this machine, right? So for the same, we have got one ISO file from Citrix, like as you can see here, what is going on here? Why oh, it is only 7.53 GB available? Uh-huh. What I copied here? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, it's good. I will increase that size later on. I will check why it is utilizing that much of storage. Okay. So from Citrix, we have got one like ISO files, which is known as Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktops. And we have to use that ISO file to install all the core components of Citrix into the delivery controller, right? So let me mount that ISO media first. So I'm just mounting the ISO media. If you are not that much familiar with that VMware uh, workstation Prona, I will guide you, okay? In one-on-one session, no worries. I'm just trying to, you know, uh, let you know like what we are what is your plan uh, means what is our plan so right now what i'm doing actually right now i am uh, following this sequence i'm installing the delivery controller okay so so here when you launch that you know software from citrix now you will get two options here like to deliver applications and to deliver application and desktop both right so we want to learn both of the things like how to deliver application and desktop to our cloud customers, right? So uh, we will go with the second option, right? So click on start. Just give me a minute. I, I will, I'm going on mute. I'm getting one call on my mobile, okay?
Yeah, hi, I'm back. So, right now, as you can see, am I audible, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so when you launch that setup now, now it is asking like uh, which uh, uh, like component uh, do you want to install, right? So what we have to do as per the that uh, presentation, first we have to install the delivery controller, right? So we are getting that option here. Delivery controller. What is delivery controller? Basically, it is a core component of Citrix, and it is a it is a kind of uh, CPU or kind of a mind for the entire Citrix infra, right? So I'm going to select this. It will take some time. Just give me a minute. Yeah, hi everyone. So, am I audible, guys? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I got one call again, so I, I was on mute. Okay. So now, uh, it is asking to accept the license. Please accept it. If you want to read, you can read it. Okay. Click on next. So now, along with the Citrix, we have to install other core component as well, like Studio Director and License Server. So, as you can see here, this is a delivery controller. And along with delivery controller, what we are doing, we are installing studio, we are installing director, and we are installing the uh, like license server. Storefront, we will install later on. Active Directory server, we already have for user authentication. And, and SQL server, we will install with delivery controller only, right? So let me <coughs> go back to the server. So the core components, we already checked. Click on next. Now, for database, we will be requiring one SQL server. So uh, I am selecting this. And Windows Remote Assistant tool, basically, this is used for the troubleshooting perspective, means when you need to take a remote session for any user virtual machine now, for any kind of troubleshooting, you can use that feature. So I am checking that as well. Simply click on Next. Oh, ho. this machine, it should have at least minimum 5 GB of RAM, right? So okay 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 i forgot to increase the ram no worries i will increase it later on click on i understand and these are the very very important port numbers which will be used for the communication in citrix server i am having a separate document on the document all those port numbers are already mentioned i will share the document for you guys right so uh, right now uh, we will go with the default one click on next here is a summary what we have selected Right, so let's wait for the summary to load. So what we actually selected, this is an installation directory where all those program files will be installed. These are the prerequisites like that will be installed. After that, it will install the core components like delivery controller, studio, director, and license server. Then it will install one feature which is known as uh, this uh, like Windows Remote Assistant for troubleshooting, right? And these are the firewall port numbers that will be automatically opened into the firewall during the installation. Click on install. So right now it is installing the features and that installation it may take like right now it is showing it will take 20 minutes but for sure it will take more than 30 minutes okay and in the meantime 
in this call uh, we are having only one uh, one minute left so what i'm doing i'm just terminating that call and i'm sharing new invite to you guys okay please join that invite is it fine yeah fine fine okay so 45 minutes we already covered so uh, let me terminate this call and after a minute i will be sharing a fresh invite to you guys please join with that invite okay Okay, thank you. Bye.